Hey guys, today I will show you my computer and what I do all my videos on. So this here is a custom built computer that I got off of a store on eBay actually. I was a bit skeptic to see if it was actually going to work out, but it did. It worked out perfectly, I've had this computer for almost two months already and has ha has had no flaws at all whatsoever. So here it is, this, this is the front, there you see the, the disc reader. It also has a bunch of uh, memory card slots, so you could read your memory card without having it plugged in with via USB or anything. Power button is right there. Two USB 2.0 ports and a microphone and headphone jack. And then you see a blue fan right there. Let me turn off the light real quick. There you go. You can see the blue light, the blue fan. Also the blue ring around the power button. So now let's move on to the inside. I actually removed the case, which is right there. Uh, it goes in, in there. So here's the inside, as you can see, let it focus, there's the power supply, it has 500 watts, which is amazing. I think it has a bit of extra watts too, so and it had, it's not taking the full power capacity. The specifications, this has an AMD A10 7700K uh, 3.4 or 3.8 gigahertz processor. Which is incredible in my opinion. It's a very good processor. It has its own graphics card in it. So that's the reason why this computer doesn't have a graphics card. Because it already has it in the in the processor. But I can buy another one to make it even better. And if I buy a, an AMD graphics card. I think I could use dual graphics. Or some feature they have. But that's pretty good. I haven't bought a graphics card yet. Uh, but that's because I'm not really doing any gaming on the computer. But it is capable of doing some good gaming. Once I get into gaming all on PC, I'll buy another graphics card to upgrade it. There you see a Western Digital Blue uh, one terabyte hard drive. I'm not sure what the specs are or or the name of the the motherboard, but I'll have everything linked in the description below so you guys could check it out. There you can see the fans going off. It also has a blue fan right there, as you guys saw from the outside. You can see the blue LEDs right there around the fan. It looks pretty sick, especially at night and with with my blue keyboard and a blue mouse. Also, the the monitor has a blue background, so that looks really cool. So let's move on to the back now. This is kind of kind of a weird angle because it, it is against the wall right there. So yeah, and I have everything plugged in, so. It, it has a fan, it has four more USB ports in the back. I believe two 3.0s and two 2.0s. Right, there's a power thing and the power switch. My keyboard and mouse are connected there with the red cables. The ethernet cable is connected down at the bottom. I believe it has wireless, but I, I'd rather connect it wired because the uh, router is right here. So I have my PS4 and the computer connected wired, not wireless. So there it is. If you guys are interested with the specs, like I said, they will be in the description below. If you guys would like to check them out. I got this computer for $435. Which is one heck of a deal in my opinion for the power it has. Computers around this price point would cost way more. This computer is capable of doing... This computer is capable of doing a lot of things. I've done some very light gaming with some scary games like Spooky House of Jump Scares while recording it and handled it flawlessly as well as, as uh, Team Fortress 2 I've played in full HD and it handled it completely perfectly. And it could also play YouTube videos or anything in full HD or 4K if you want. So this thing is a beast. I hope you guys enjoyed and found anything helpful in the description below. Can I get three likes? That would be amazing. That will make my day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.